Hi guys, hope everything's okay with you wherever we are. Uh, today, uh, let's have a go at a little uh, party Charleston routine, okay? So, you can do this on your own, you can do it with a group of people, the side of you, the back of you, whatever you want to do. You can even do it um, opposite as a partner dance as well. Uh, but generally speaking, in this particular thing, you are actually dancing on your own uh, as opposed to in hole with a partner. So, let's start from the beginning. You're going to start with um, your right foot and your toe basically, with, I'm going to leave all this, the Charleston swivels for now and we'll just concentrate on the weight changes and what have you for Charleston. So the right foot's going to go uh, forward with the toe, without weight, toe. Then it's going to go back and step with weight. The left foot goes back with the toe. Toe comes forward with weight. So what you get is a tap, step, tap, step. Okay? I'll just show you that from behind as I normally do. So you can see if you're, um, you're looking on you on the back. So with the right foot, it's the toe. Toe and step toe and step, toe and step, toe and step. You, um, when, you, when you get better, you can put a, a kind of swivel on it if you want to, that's if you want to get further down the line. But for now, you can easily just do the tap and step. And the arms just come across the body quite nonchalantly really, like that. Okay, so, we're going to do two of those. We're going to do a tap and step, tap and step, tap and step, tap, and this one, close. Okay? Then we're going to do two pushes to the right, tapping the right toe at the same time. For a tap, tap, go back on the right, back, side, close. Then repeat that to the left with the left toe, Tap, tap, back, side, close. Okay, so if I just turn that around, you've got a tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, close. Right foot, tap, tap, back, side, close. Left foot, tap, tap, back, side, close. Okay, now we're going to repeat that again. Right foot, toe and step, toe and step, toe and step, toe and close. Tap, tap, back side close, tap, tap, back side close. And we finish with the weight on the left foot. Now we're going to step forward to my right diagonally for us, uh, uh, sorry. First of all, before we do the, the kicks, we're going to do a push-pull action. First of all, to my left for a push-pull, then to my right, push-pull. And it's quick, it's one, two, three, four, and you're doing it on your toes. Just keep the, the weight, on your toes. If you do it full weight, it's too clumsy and you can't do it in time. So the push pull action is a push pull, push pull, and then your left leg is going out to the side with your arms up for a one, two. And it just goes out to the side, just a little bit to the side, like that. So the action is one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to repeat it starting to the right corner for a one, two, three, four. And this time out with the right leg, one, two. Okay? So the action all together now is push, pull, push, pull, out, out. Push, pull, push, pull, out, out. So, just done that to your back. So how does that look um, from the front? 
So if we just do the last one in turn, so here's the last one, tap, step, tap, step. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. To my left, push, pull, push, pull, out, out. Push, pull, push, pull, out, out. Okay? So we've got Charleston basic at the beginning, then the push pulls. The next one are step kicks. So I'm going to turn around again, so because it's easier, I think, as you can see in my back. The last movement we did was out, out. The weight is on the left foot. You're going to step again to my right diagonal with this foot, and you're going to do a step, kick, step, tap. And again, step, kick, step, tap. Okay, and if I do that to my to front so you can see that, you're going to do a step, kick, step, tap, step, kick, step, tap. Okay, on your kick, if you can, uh, try it and if you can get the foot up, but showing the sole of uh, the shoe rather than the toe. So if we were doing a flip ball change, we would point the toe, we try and get the toe down. This one, we want the toe up. One, two, three, four. And you can take the arms back across the body as you go for a one, and on the kick if you want, you can do opposite arms. Two, three, four. Okay, so let's do that from the beginning. I'll turn my, myself around so you can see, it's probably easier. So, we're starting on the right foot, and we're going to do a tap and step, tap and step, tap and step, tap and close. Push, push, backside close, push, push, backside close again. Tap and step, tap and step, tap and step, tap and close. Push, push, back side close, push, push, back side close. Push, pull, push, pull, out and out. Push, pull, push, pull, out and out. Step, kick, back, tap, step, kick, back, tap. Okay, so we finish with the weight on the left foot. Now we're going to go round to the right, to the right side, doing side close sides for a one and two and three and four and back to the left, five and six and seven, eight. So the full word for that is just stepping. One and two and three and four, five and six and seven, eight. And it's better if you can, on the toes, because it's nimbler, one and two and three and four, five and six and seven, eight. So if you do it on the full foot, it can be a bit clumsy. Okay? The arms for that, they just go round. As it was described by one of our people the other day, uh, window wipers. So you've got a one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. So it's this action. A bit like wax on, wax off. You remember that one. So let's just try that. Uh, let's try that facing front uh, from the step, step kicks, and you can see what that's like. So I'm going forward on my right ear for a step, kick, back, tap. Step, kick, back, tap. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven and eight. Okay, so let's do that up to there, and this time I'll do it facing you. Okay, so I'm starting on my right toe for a tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, close, tap, tap, backside close, tap, tap. Backside close again, tap and step, 
tap and step, tap and step, tap and close. Tap, tap, backside close, tap, tap, backside close. Push, pull, push, pull, out, out. Push, pull, push, pull, out, out. Step, kick, back, tap. Step, kick, back, tap. Round we go, and three and four, back and two and seven, eight. And the seven, eight is important because we need the weight on that right foot. So it's seven, eight, the last two counts. Okay, for the last movement, we're going to go um, to the to my left here. You've got one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. So finish with that weight on the right foot. The reason you've got the footwork is the left arm goes out with your palm facing out. And the right arm is going to hit your hip for a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it changes one and two and three and four. So the four is a better count really for that. For a one and two and three and four, five and six and seven and eight. And on the eight, you need to have the weight go partially on that foot rather than put the full one because you need the and A because you need to start the dance again with that right foot, toe, step, toe, step. Okay, so let's just do that. Um, we finished with the seven, eight. Now we're going to do the side closes uh, to my left here with the arm out. Passing the hip for a one and two and three and four with weight. Five and six and seven and eight. And then we start again with the left foot. Tap, step, tap, step. Okay, so I'll dance it this way uh, and then I'll dance it front to music. Okay, so. Right toe, you've got a tap and step, tap and step, tap and step, tap and close. Push, push, back side close, push, push, back side close again. Tap and step, tap and step, tap and step, tap and close. Push, push, back side close, push, push, back side close. Push, pull, push, pull, out, out. Push, pull, push, pull, out, out. Step, kick, back, tap. Step, kick, back, tap. Round we go, and three, and four. Back, and two, and seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. Start again, three, four. So, what I suggest you do on that, um, get the feet first of all, and get them up to speed. Any Charleston is generally fast, so best to get the feet first, small steps. Any fast dance, small steps. You do big steps, you can't get it, you haven't got the time, or you completely wear yourself out. Uh, once you've got the steps and the time, then add the arms. Okay, so you need to do it in that order. If you try and do it all at once, you'll probably your head will explode with all the bits and pieces. So just manage your build steps at a time. Okay, let's have uh, ghost music, see how, see how it works. Yep. Sorry guys, hold me a second.
Peace out.